Hello, my name is Dick Roberts. I'm a professional photographer, videographer, and metal artist. The purpose of this DVD is to share with you the experiences I have had in using a CNC plasma cutter. I'm going to be discussing from concept to setup to actual use of it and the results of using it. CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control. I will go lightly over the principles of the CAD program. CAD stands for Computer Aided Design and is used for designing your work. I will also introduce you to CAM. CAM stands for Computer Aided Manufacturing and turns information into G-code, then operates by numbers to run a CNC machine. G-code is the language that the machine will understand. I will show you what to look for when buying a CNC machine, to the mistakes I have made after buying it, how you can avoid these costly mistakes, and ways of getting the most out of your CNC machine. A CNC machine doesn't replace the manual way of working with metal. It only makes it more convenient, more controlled by the person working with it, and speeds up the process. When I decided to get into metal art, I started with an oxygen and acetylene setup. And then I bought a welder, and I started doing everything by hand. As a matter of fact, my first copper leaf spray was done by hand. That was before I got my CNC plasma cutter. It took me more than twice as long to make the first one, and it was a lot harder to make it than it was after I got my CNC machine. Right now, I'm going to give you some history on how plasma came about. If you don't understand where something came from, how will you know where it is going? The CNC plasma cutting machine is high tech, but if it is like most high tech things today, it will only get better. Now is the time to get in and start working with this technology and grow as it becomes even better. The more advanced way of utilizing the modern technology in metal art and metal fabricating is to consider the CNC plasma cutter. It doesn't take away from your artistic ability. It only enhances the technique. Instead of making your drawing on paper, you make it in a computer. Instead of taking hours to cut out your metal work, you take minutes. Instead of making mistakes in cutting out your metal work, you can cut out your work with the precision. Instead of cutting it out over a period of boring hours by hand, you can cut it out in minutes with the pushing of start. Instead of having to repeat your hand cutouts and drawings each time you do the same thing, you store it in the hard drive of your computer or a USB flash drive and pull it up whenever you need it. You can also cut out several of the same thing at a time. Technology has raised the bar for metal artists as well as metal fabricators. What once took years to learn can now be brought out in a professional way in days or weeks. And that is if you know nothing about it. Keep in mind that there's more to metal art than just cutting out pieces of metal. If you want to do cutouts, that doesn't take long to learn at all. Cutting out parts for art or fabricating and assembling them takes a little longer, unless you've already got some experience in working with metal. If you have an idea in your head and you own a CNC plasma cutter, you can create that idea into a work of art. If you can dream it, you can create it. You can also draw a part that you need to have a job for a project. Many of the parts you buy in a commercial parts store were cut out by machinists on a CNC plasma cutter in a machine shop. What you're going to find is that when you have a CNC plasma cutter, you are a machine shop. If you take the broken part and put the measurements into your CAD program, you will be able to duplicate that part and not only save money, but time as well. There are many uses for a personal CNC machine. Unless you are a machine shop doing a lot of large jobs, or you are a hobbyist or artist that wants you to make large cuts, then you will find that the small shop machine is really all you need. In my case, space was more important than size of machine. Think of it as an investment in you. When you start thinking about buying a CNC machine, the first thing that you would look at is the cost. Can you afford to buy this tool? This is a personal observation and has nothing to do with, is it worth it? 
The CNC plasma cutting machine is a tool, and like any other tool in your shop, you have to ask yourself, if it is worth it to you, will it make your life better, and your work better, and will it pay for itself over a period of time? Another thing you would look at is the company you will buy this tool from. So what I did was I cut five nine inch square bases out of one eighth inch steel, and I brazed them all together. It served two purposes. One, it made for a stronger base, and secondly, was that the bronze coloring of the, the uh, brazing made a base that looked nice. When I painted the pedestal black, I then wire brushed off the bronze and it really added some very nice coloring. A lady recently was looking at it and said it looked like jewelry. Also, metal will warp when it gets hot and the torch has to maintain a certain distance from the torch to metal in order to keep the arc for cutting. When the arc gets too close, I'm now going to show you how I make some simple drawings in the computer in the CAD program and then we'll go out and we'll cut them out. And I'm going to here choose a circle. When I choose the circle, I'm going to go over and draw a small circle here. Then I'm going to, it will say path selected two. That means we have two paths here. So we're going to look at the first circle. We highlight that and this is called nodes. Show fill, take it off. Now it shows these lines overlapping each other. Now you can take these, you can cut this object out, cut this object out, and then go out into your, sh your uh, shop and weld them together and you will have one piece. But the simple way is now that you have them both highlighted, you have this path and this path, you're going to go over, it welds them together, the same as it would if you were out in your shop. I'm going to highlight a couple more, well, actually three bring those out and then I'm going to highlight one and bring it out this way and then I'm going to hit the green check mark and it holds it then we go to the next one which is create lead out highlight that if you look really closely you can see that that's a double line so what we're going to do is click out away from that box and, and to my shop and I'm going to show you how to cut this out now I'd like to show you something else up here this right here is what your is called g-code this is what After I cut out a small item, I have a little hand. Bag. Okay, this is what we just cut out. This was just a, what I would call a junk piece. I was just playing around and this doesn't mean anything, but it can be something that you have created and you cut out and then you have a choice. You could, that you should always, and I sell a lot of stuff that are, that is silver, it's, um, the metal finish. And then I put it on. Now, wasn't that interesting? I got into metal art before I even knew what a CNC plasma cutter was. I found out about it when I started searching the web to look for a, well, metal art that was being done worldwide. After reading about what it could do, it didn't take me long to decide that it was something I wanted to be involved in. As I mentioned before about working for yourself or working for someone else, if you have the ability to be self-employed or to do all this stuff by yourself, you're going to figure this as an investment. Don't think of this as spending a lot of money for a machine or the money that you spent. Think of it as an investment in you.